Well, talk about how this all came together, man. I mean, obviously, you know, he said he wanted a top 10 opponent. Nobody in the top 10 was stepping up. So how did you, you know, did you put your hand in the air? Did they call you? How did this all come together? Um, My manager called me. And he's like, hey, Islam needs a fight. And once he said that, I was already like uh, 195 pounds. And I'm like, you want me to get the 55 in 10 days? This is nuts. I'm like, oh man, and I just got in a fight. Like I still got some of the scars and stuff from the last one, you know? Um, I know a lot of people got the call before me. I'm like, where are those guys at, you know? Why they didn't step up, you know? Because to be honest, I just got off. Now just let me get off the out of the cage and you're gonna throw me back in again? I guess you guys have been little bitches, you know? Well, fuck it, I'll, I'll do it. Let me show you how I do this shit, you know? Snatch that shit and I'll go in, you know? Give me, give me paid and I'll do it. Amazing. So, you know, everybody's got him kind of proclaimed as being the next champion or a title contender. I mean, when you look at him, is he that good? I mean, is this is this championship material that you see? Um, I know that he's been really downplaying me. And I'm gonna keep it right hunted with you. He's a he's a good opponent. I think he's definitely if he's been on this win streak, you know, he is championship material according to wins, you know. If we're gonna talk about just wins, but I feel like when it comes to this MMA stuff, it's what product you're selling. I always tell all my like young fighters that what kind of what kind of product you selling? Because we all selling something, you know. And the public's gonna buy the best thing that that they can find. With Islam, he does what he does. But to be honest, it's kind of boring, you know. Even if he getting finishes, it's still been boring. And so my whole whole thing is entertainment excitement you know um so he can be championship material but it's just fucking boring nobody wants to see it nobody cares i fall asleep watching his fights and then it's like oh there's the finish and like so they can show a bunch of finishes which is cool but it was sleeping it was boring it was it's lackluster some of these guys it's just a match you know it's just about the win everybody just wants to win and that's cool for those guys. That's never been my intentions. I never really cared about winning. I cared about entertaining. I cared about my style. I cared about what type of shit I'm putting out, you know? And if, if somebody wants to see it, because a lot of these things nobody wants to see, they will never be watched again. They will never be played again. That's why I kind of wondered if you hesitated at all or thought it, because when, when you think about your style, we think about entertainment, right? And we think about his style, we think about dominant grappling. So was there any part of you that was like, I don't know how I'm going to be entertaining out there. This is going to be, you know, I'm going to have to grind in the clinch and show a lot of, you know, defensive wrestling tactics. You nailed it on the on the head, brother. I got a long test ahead of me with these boring guys. And I'm like, I told Jason that too. I'm like, Jason, this guy's fucking boring. Like, what am I going to do with this guy? So that's the real test. It's making somebody boring, exciting. How can I do that? Can I do that? Can I pull that one out of my ass? Let me see what I can do. I think I can do it, you know? You know, he was here earlier. We asked him, you know, if, if he was expecting you to be talking to him a little bit. And he's like, I'm actually going to be talking to him. He said, maybe maybe if Bobby will talk to me on the feet, but we're on the ground. I'm going to be the one talking, saying, get up. Let's go. Where are you at? So do you welcome that? Does somebody kind of give it back to you a little bit? Or does that, you know, does that kind of get under your skin if they do that? What, what are you expecting? Nah, I think that's kind of dope, you know? I think it's dope. Yeah, say what you got to say, brother. You know, and nobody holding you from back from your words. Say what you say. You are kind of stealing from your your big your big brother, Khabib. That was his shit, you know? So you're still, you're jocking his swag. Um, if he wants to talk, let's talk, you know? But it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. That's all I want to do is make sure that it's fun.